we um, started this process back about That's just me. I don't know. five to seven months I ago, and wrong. we worked outside on um, kinesthetic exercise to help students uh, realize that art requires um, repetition of elements to create unity. So right now in this mural we are repeating figures who are dancers and um, the exercise that we did with the ball and the parachutes were to create a pattern and artwork is always at its best when you utilize pattern in a creative fashion. The reason or purpose behind inviting a Native American artist into the classroom was so that students could see the work of professionals and to learn about the creative process and how it's viewed by individual artists. And also I wanted them to have as much cultural ties to the artwork. Well then find the things that you can do and try to capitalize and make those things um, become something that other people can enjoy or that can express your feelings or can express something that's inside of you, express your, 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 your interest, like say on the wall, you know, I, I know we've seen the young man, I, I see him at Powell's a lot, you know, the dancing and stuff, that's, that's something that he's expressing in his work. And it's important for us to create because it's a part of who we are. Um, in our way of thinking, there's not really artists. There's not a certain class of people. Well, these guys are artists. The rest of us don't do anything like that. I think the good thing about being who I am and who you are is that we don't limit ourselves like that. In our, our traditional culture, everybody created something, and they did something that was of use, that had beauty. Oh, beautiful. Long shots are looking just standing like there's a two or three I know the, the drum has helped us stay out of trouble and stay sober longer and stay away from drugs and alcohol because it's not allowed ever at the drum. Okay. So I think that's kind of helped us with that. It's a good thing, you know, it's a good thing to learn. I want to encourage your kids to do, do something, you know, with your talent. You know, don't waste it because it's Finish school, you know, get a college degree, get a degree in art if you like art. I tell my daughter, there's no future in alcohol, drugs, singing out. You know, you could stay in school. Tears run through my eyes, running through the times I can't find. Trying to face. Watch out for your feet, my friend. Friends turned away Whether it's basketball, you know, whatever it is, that's what you need. So in art, it's the same way. You have to apply yourself. You have to practice by yourself, at home, and it's from you. They see more than just, you know, a picture. They see what's coming out of you kids as far as what do you guys like or what do you enjoy. And it's important that you do it from your heart. It's important that it's yours, not what other people want you to do. And that's kind of the tough thing because people will want you to conform to what they want. So, And then where you want to be, where you can be is way up here. Just remember there's a, there's a difference from what you're doing and where you can be. And so like with this mural, I think it's important that you guys put things that are, are from you, from your heart. These are some of the things that are not on display that I brought that you guys could uh, use for your art class. So, hide scraper that's made out of part of an elk antler. And over there are a pair of moccasins, beaded moccasins. And uh, there's a, a necklace made of wampum over there. And then here's a park ledge. Who we are as Nespers people is conveyed through the image that we present to others when we um, when we attend um, ceremonies or or events of significance. 100 years ago or 200 years ago, you could look at an individual whether they were, they were male or female, and you could tell what tribe they were based upon the way that they look. And that's what's um, that's what's important about the way that you dress is people can tell who you are and where you come from. This right here is uh, an otter sash that 
I wear when I dress up, made out of one, one otter, and I'll actually uh, pass this around because this is something that... Like these, these elements right here are off from leggings that uh, my father's father's father had. And this element right here came from my grandmother's dress. I'll pass these around so you can look at some of the historic photographs that I rely upon. These ones are actually made by, um, by making the decoration on the hair side. So I'll pass this around, but feel the fuzziness it's, it's kind of velvety on one side, quiver and bowcase. We have had artists of multiple um, levels participating as far as uh, creative levels or creative experience. I've had novice painters and painters who have been working for years in creating their own style. It's been a collaboration of uh, multi-age uh, students. We've had uh, from sixth graders on up through juniors and actually former students come back and work on this. I <laughs> <laughs> wanted to thank all my students for their sincere interest and their efforts in making sure that um, the cultural items that were portrayed were correct and just the love and enthusiasm that they gave in completing this uh, this project and I just wanted to thank as well the family members that came in, um, artists, uncles, grandparents um, that came in to give of their time and of their talents to this project. My culture we have a whole bunch of dancers and we have grass dancers, um, we have jingle dress dancers, fancy dancers and we have many more. And Merlin, Kicking Woman, went and drew a whole bunch of great dancers for us. And this is going to go in our um, new food, our museum down there. And it's just going to show everybody what our culture is and what our people used to dress like back in the day. Don't go straight up to the line. If you want to show it, there's like a tiny bit of whiteness. Shows that it's not all one thing, you know. When people go and walk by it and everything, take a look at it and say, wow, that's a really good painting. My name is Kevin Peters and I make lots of flutes. I've been making flutes for the last about 25 years. And I make a flute in a style that is consistent with our old traditional ones. That it's a uh, knee tip or elderberry, which you were looking at here a few minutes ago. This is elderberry. turned out a lot better than I thought they would. They seem realistic to me. Um, I really enjoy like all the different colors and the designs in them. And I think we worked really hard and they turned out really good. That's a blue truck. That's a car. The cars, it's in present day and we're going through like a parade and there's still Indian culture going on. And it, like if it's eating, it has no thing is to um, respect the people who have um, passed on and it's kind of honoring them or something. Falling again, forgive and forget the things that you've lost, escaping the past before you fall into pieces. Friends turned away when I needed them the most. It's time to forgive and forget the worst. But it's time to not be worthless.